hopefully you enjoy your time as a developer before the AI warlords take over and make us all obsolete. I'm ready to be a designer anyway. But What's up devs, it's your boy Michael. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about API versus server actions. I did a community post a couple of days ago and I asked what video ideas would you, uh, what video ideas do you guys have? What do you guys want me to talk about? And someone gave me a sick video topic that I've been thinking about um, is sort of talk about the difference between you know, APIs on Next.js versus server actions. So here it says server actions are asynchronous functions that are executed on the server. They, they can be used by both server and client components to handle form submissions and data mutations in Next.js applications. There is uh, a line that I want us to read here is when you try to understand server actions, this is what you need to understand. Behind the scenes, actions use the post method and only this HTTP method can invoke them. So server actions themselves are requests, but they're sort of abstracted to be abstracted to be functions. And I personally do believe the developer experience with server actions is much better than uh, writing APIs on Next.js. So without further ado, let's just go through a simple example where we're going to pull data from this dummy um, endpoint I found on the internet. So let's do APIs first. So on Next.js, you would have an API folder. Um, and then you would give that, uh, you'd have a subfolder, let's call it um, dummy JSON, and then you would have your route.ts, right? So um, the reason why it's like this, this is basically the route. So let's say your website is youtube.com, the API route would be slash API slash dummy JSON. All right, so I have Thunder Client on the side just so we can hit send to get ready to test. Let's write this endpoint. So we're going to do export uh, function get. We're just going to do get request. And we're going to do const response equals to fetch. We're going to fetch the data from this dummy endpoint. And then we're going to extract the response. So do response.json. And then we're going to do return next response.json and then we'll just return result. Oh, there's a couple things I forgot though. First of all, this is async. And this is also, this must be awaited. All right, so this is how you do API endpoints on Next.js. I'm sure you're fairly familiar with this. So when we hit send, there you go. We should get our result. Let me drag this here we should get our dummy data. So this is how you would do uh, API endpoints on Next.js, right? Fairly familiar, fairly simple. But I do like how server actions work. So the way you would do server actions is I would create, the way I do it is I create a utils folder and then I create a folder called actions and then I'll create my dummy json.ts file. So I have utils action dummy.json. So to turn this route into a server function, we have to start off with the declaration use server, how you would do use client on a client component. And then we would do export uh, const, let's call this dummy json. We'll just do dummy json. We can make this an arrow function if need be. Why not? Let's be fancy. Uh, we'll make this async, async doesn't go there. It's an arrow function, so it goes here. And we'll literally be doing the same thing, const response equals to await fetch. And I can just copy this line directly from here. And then we'll, I'll close this here. And then we'll just do const result equals to await response.json. And then you return result. That simple. So let's call the server action on the homepage. So I'm going to do const response equals to await dummy JSON. Now this is, uh, this needs to be a server. This needs to be async. So we're going to add async to it. And then let's just console log the response. So if I head to this page, this dummy JSON server action should fire. So let's go to the page, page loads. And when we check our terminal, would you have that? The results have loaded in. So you can see that one of the differences, the core differences between a server action and an endpoint really is developer experience. But I just prefer them being functions, right? I just prefer um, this developer experience compared to routes. So I'll be honest, on 
90% of my server on 90% of my Next.js applications, I am going with the server actions route. The only time um, a server action doesn't work or doesn't make sense is when you're building a webhook. So if you need to create a, a webhook API route, then you, you will need to give uh, whatever service is firing to your webhook um, an endpoint. So I, for the most part, default to server actions, but when I need to create some sort of webhook, then I will use the API routes. So that's the difference. It's mostly developer experience. I'm sure there's some technicalities to it that I haven't looked into, but if you have any questions regarding server actions uh, or you have any video suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Most people watching the videos on my channel are not subscribed, so it would mean the world to me if you subscribe. Hopefully you enjoy your time as a developer before the AI warlords take over and make us all obsolete. I'm ready to be a designer anyway, but thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.